everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Monster Train. We won last time, which was incredible. Who, who could have possibly imagined such an incredible feat such as that? Um, and then we won with the Stygian Guard, which was sick. We have not won with the Umbra in forever. So we're going to do an Umbra random. Add a copy of the Allied Clan starter card to your starter deck. So we could end up with, like, more torches or more... Um, more restores, I think, in this case, and you're going to devour my spell. So we have Awoken Allied again. Um, yeah, so we have one extra restore. That is bad, because it's not a great card, but it's not necessarily terrible. Sorry, I gotta, I'm got i on top of my headphone cord, as usual. Um, I think there's two different ways to play this. Obviously, there's two options. The first time... Each turn, an enemy unit dies. Add two morsel units to your hand. It's a great way to get more morsels out of nothing. Let's see what our support cards are here. Packed morsels. We shouldn't have to worry about it, honestly, with all the morsels we got there. So let's go morsels get damage shield, and then we can use them to take a hit and also do some dirty work for us. Um, I really... Oh, they buffed you. I think you got buffed. Now you have lifesteal. Let's give it a try then. And I don't want to run into capacity problems with Monstrous. We've, we've been down that road too many times before. Okay. So we choose to take some Pyre damage right at the start. Dude, I'm loving Monster Train. I really thought there would be like faster burnout setting in. But this is like my go-to game to play uh, at night as well. I'm having a great time. So here's the deal. We're only going to kill one of you. But we're not going to take any damage because we're going to get full lifesteal out of this, which is insanely good. Um, so let's put you here, and then we're killing two of you. And we'll play that for no reason. Alright. I think we're really... Our reasoning is getting a lot stronger as well. It's taken us a while to get there, but our reasoning is getting a lot stronger. So we need to summon more units than is possible to kill you. Just can't be done. Um... But what do you think about a train steward? For for what purpose? Great question. Um, hold on. I'm thinking. So there's three attacks. You've already got damage. Oh, there you get damage shield one by default. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You're only taking seven? I think we would rather just buff you extremely. And... Uh, it's kind of a similar situation here. You have damage shield one. You might as well block the hit this time. So we really should be using our morsels almost as imps. Brief respite, of course. Um, you have a... Oh, because you ate an, an imp that gave you a damage shield. I understand now. Capa I'll, I'll stop you right here. Capacity is what we need moving forward. I don't really care about the extra energy. I would really just like to keep my my train steward alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I made a terrible mistake as well. We should not have our our champion. And the first fight is almost like a little just troubleshooting. Our champion should never have full capacity by a train steward. We saved a little bit of pyre damage, but it's not worth it because we could have gotten so many more gorge triggers out of this, for sure. So um, let's just heal you. I should have played the one that heals you for more, but it, it is what it is. Here we are. This is this damage is to be expected when you take the trial early, but you always take the trial. On, come on. You're going to not take the trial on floor? Come on, dude. Um, so I think we will start here. We're just really trying to make you take as much damage as possible. Every single one of these moves the needle ever so slightly for us. You're taking 49 damage, which is pretty good. And we're just going to buff you, because I don't know if there's a much better play. At least you're getting strong enough to survive a few hits. And then for Restore, you do 5. It's not like you're going to live through 2 hits. Actually, what am I talking about? Of course you are, if I, if I heal you. Now you're taking 49. All right. That was just a simple train steward. So I'm not feeling too bad about this right now. 
Um, I'll tell you, there are problems with where this run is, though. And the, there's a, a really obvious one, uh, which is that... You just need to be healed. Um, a really obvious one is we have no direct damage spells, which really presents a problem for us to hit the support units at the back, which is what's uh, doing quite a number on us right now. Um, that that would I would say that's the big one. I think as long as we we can get some direct damage spells, like literally, I'm just just take Ant Umbra Assault. It's exactly what we're looking for. Um, and admittedly, restoring retreat can do something uh, about our capacity issues by descending units, but it's quite expensive. I would think of this almost as just take another restoration detonation and try to keep your champion alive. I'm overvaluing the champion early, but I think that could change pretty quickly. I don't really think we need more units because we have morsels right now, so let's come over here. I'm just thinking everything through more than I've ever done before. Damage shield 2. It's not a lot of... It's not a lot for me. But 13 damage on Ant Umbra Assault, I do find quite nice. Anything expensive should be cheaper. Then we'll reroll. Permafrost. You do kind of like the Permafrost Ant Umbra Assault to just make sure it hits its trigger. And I think we'll start to pull slight regens out of here. I like, I like regen for um, getting the triggers on the Awoken units. Who knows when we're going to get an Awoken unit, though. And we can definitely afford to keep the trial on. I mean, did you watch the last run? We barely lived through the first two trials, and yet we won easily. Dunk, donkey, dunk, 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 donkey, dunk. I think we can afford to play a... Even with lifesteal? Oh, because we're getting hit on the lifesteal. Yeah, that makes sense. So hold on, I'm, I'm just thinking, just thinking about it. I think we do bend, uh, you, sure you could block a hit, but we can also have you break even and also get the gorge triggers for aggression. So I think, or for, for the, for offense, I should say. And then I think we'll just set up, uh, up here. The idea is we can put a train steward up there and at least get something out of this. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right play, but uh, might as well get something out of it. Um, none of you are going to die, just to be clear here. Um, what do you give? Plus three, plus one energy. Plus one energy matters zero to me. There's two attackers. I still think we like it like this. Um, you're actually doing some damage, which is nice, too. Can we just go straight for the heal? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're, we're killing the, the tankiest enemy right off the bat. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, you got haste. It's not like I could have done anything anyway, but... Um, so I think you gotta go. That's much nicer. And then... Train Steward. You're not dead? You guys are not really a problem. I think we're in a very nice spot. Let's put it that way. I could heal you for two and do ten. It's kind of a weak play versus getting more morsels, but it does make it so we're going to kill the unit at the top. We're going to kill the support unit. Okay, so you're only taking 120. Obviously, that's not where we want to be, but that helps. And then I think we really just want to block for you. Although, are you dying? You're probably dying to thorns, huh? Yeah, that's a problem. Or annoying. Um, that's taking you close, though. You gotta admit, that's taking you pretty close. So let's uh, Shade Splitter. The only other thing I could think of is, like, you're gonna die anyway. I wonder if this would change it enough. It didn't. I was too lazy to do the math, because I know we're gonna be there anyway, but... I mean, that almost does it. That does it. Okay. That was totally fine. I have few complaints. We could probably use a unit here more than anything else. A second unit that does anything at all. Dude, I'll tell you. I think Ant Umbra Assault is beautiful. 
You know I'm looking at Glimmer like, ooh, that's what we want. It's less for the heal, and it's much more for the AoE hit. Which is why I kind of like Vine Grasp as well for zero. But a unit is what we're looking for. I really think the Warden is just so much better. Because you don't damage shield doesn't decay unless it's hit. So the fact that... And we'll, we'll go here. The fact that you can get so much damage shield built before it even becomes a threat is just amazing in my world. I think we definitely just want the middle floor capacity. I think that's, that's actually quite nice. We'll still take capacity from the boss if we make it there. Um, okay, and I know you. I will take three Dante's Candles, and then you will enter my deck later and become quite the, quite the prodigious card player, if I do say so myself. Explosives explode twice. It's bad for tankiness, but we got morsels there to get up in front and take the hits. So I think we're actually pretty well positioned right now. Um, well, we will play this. It makes sense why I would die there. For a second, I was like, really? <laughs> then I thought about it for two seconds and was like, all right, fair enough. <laughs> I understand now. All right. Um, you're not supposed to stack up this dude. Uh, you're not supposed to stack this dude up because you don't have the capacity now to do what you wanted to do in the first place. Don't you feel like a fool? Anyway, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Maybe we should have gone for the second floor, but I was worried you were going to just kill me. In fact, you would have just killed me, so I don't feel so bad. Um, get this out of here. And then you get some damage shields. Even though we played this demonstrably wrong, it's not like... There's different degrees of wrongness, and this is not really that bad. Um, we definitely want you to die. The damage shield... Even though you could have taken one hit from a damage shield, we for sure just want you to keep getting stronger and stronger and, and build that up as much as possible. Um, we definitely want to get rid of this. Uh, it's like you might as well put this down here. And, I don't know. Are we going to draw a train steward maybe? We might. I don't see a good reason not to have these out here, I guess. You guys are all doing great, which is lovely news. And uh, see ya. I really think even if our bottom floor collapses, the top floor is going to be A-OK. -okay. For a while, at least. So this is obviously not what we want, but it's not like they're going anywhere, so who cares. We definitely like this. We're still dying. We definitely like this. Not dying anymore, which is real nice. Um... And you might as well just keep moving the needle here. It's getting a little ridiculous. Um, we'll give you a damage shield as well. We don't really want two of these guys up here. We should have played one of these better morsels, but... Because if we have... Oh, uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, do we even want... No, we did, we did that right. We did that right. If I can kill you, I can't kill you. That's fine. We'll still put you here. This train steward's about to have the meal of his life. You're dead. You're fine. Everybody's fine. You're gonna die. I guess that's not everybody's fine, but you know what I mean. Like, in principle. I don't want to play this because it's gonna fill our deck with a bunch of, uh... Morsels. I'd rather wait until we have capacity, if possible. Alright, we're on the final wave. I think we did a pretty good job considering how badly things went for a bit there. Because of my own idiocy. Um... So you're gonna die. Taking 88 damage. Didn't change it too much, um, but what are you gonna do? Nobody really needs a restore. We should have played it. Uh, we could have played a train steward one floor up. Um, you're taking 26 damage. That's low, I'll admit, but that's also like, you know, not what we're here for. I think though, 32. I think we do better. By just stacking up on, on this gentleman right here. And we do want this out of our hand. His four turn damage shield is the most important thing for us here.
Either way, we get a damage shield out of this. One sixty-five. We're doing fine. We're almost gonna die. Um, we're, we're gonna be down to like forty, maybe. Which I, I I consider myself pretty happy about, considering the misplay rate at the start that set the tempo. But now we know for the future. What did we learn? Think about it. You want your gorgers to be able to gorge. So you want maybe sweep unit on the bottom floor makes sense. Then champion in the middle. You might need a tank in front of them still, but... I do feel like Adaptive Mutation does a good job of keeping our champion alive. They're gonna be like 40-40 or something. If we heal them to full, they're gonna be a 40-40. And they got healed to full. I think we can try it. It's a bit of a niche case, but I think we can try it. And actually, I do really like the Wilting Sapwood. Uh, that can be a good tank for our champion, and then we're going to take capacity anyway. We, we don't really have to worry about energy so much, because so many of the morsels that get summoned just give you energy. So we're going to get an Umbra unit. I think we're kind of good on units. We want to remove some train stewards, don't get me wrong. In which case, we would come here anyway. Wouldn't we rather, like, go this way? The Pyre health doesn't change things too much. But here... <laughs> three capacity is half of a floor. But to make you a much stronger sweep unit, I think I can live with. And then plus 25 HP. I think we put it on... The unit that's most likely to get hit a lot. And then we give the plus 10 to you. Which makes you quite a bit more prodigious when things get, get tough. Unfortunately, we were left with a very awkward amount of gold. And we want to give you super gorge. Unless we... Well, I don't know. With 6 capacity... Or 3... Plus 2 would actually give you 10 capacity on a floor. There's no reason for 10 capacity on a floor. Because there's a limit, uh, a unit limit of seven. So I think that we reasoned this through properly, and we're thinking about capacity for once, which is nice. And I think we could totally not have to worry too much about the armor. Our pyre should be okay because we just got the extra HP for it. Um, but you do it. You got to think things through. So I think we we've learned. We like you up here. We like you here, and you're gonna compete for gorges, unfortunately. Honestly, I think you just summon a train steward down at the bottom. That, that's our non-gorge floor. So what happens next? The next choice is very complicated, admittedly. Um, who do we want to get tanked up? I think we can abandon a floor. I really do. I think we could abandon the bottom and then play a three. I don't think we should abandon the bottom. I think we should play the sweeper down here um, and let the train steward die. I care not for them. Uh, but I do. Oh, I really. Oh, I want you to get out there. Oh, my energy so low. Uh, okay. I think we ice you for the money, and then also the morsels move the needle quite a lot for us, honestly. And we really want... You're like our last gasp, so we want you to get as much as possible. I might even... Ah, we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. And then we'll play this. Because it does get removed. Your best laid plans can all fall apart, uh, depending on what you draw. You should know that by now. Okay, so we're not killing anybody. You guys are going to make it to the top. Although, now we'll at least kill you and you do no damage. So that's pretty nice. And then, morsels are shields, but also fuel for some of our other units. So who needs the fuel more? Always having one damage shield on you is really good. And actually, getting we don't need lifesteal on you. If anything, we'd rather have lifesteal on you. 
and then extra HP. Doesn't really matter, but I think I would just go for the extra gorge trigger on our boss. We will play this. And extra HP. It doesn't hurt to give you more damage shields, just so you, you have them maybe for the boss fight. And we'll get rid of this. And a train steward really exists exclusively to take a hit for our sweeper at the back, in my opinion. I think we puzzled that turn out. I think, I think we got to a good spot. Pyre takes no damage because the unit does no damage. Sorry, there's, I, I keep going like this. There's so much cat hair just floating in the air. Thanks to the cats shedding so much. Six, seven, one. There you go. Now you're only taking one damage. Much nicer. This is not a great turn for us. You have two damage shield. Eater gets plus one in damage shield, but definitely put that on you. You do have life steal, which is quite nice. Um, and you know what? I think we actually could take advantage of a train steward here. We have enough capacity. We could play three morsels on top of a train steward. I don't think it's good, but I think in this situation, it's fine. It's fine. So really the question is, do we want to swap with anybody? I think the answer is like, no, dude. I really wish I could kill you, though. I don't think I can. So I think the the play is, except your pyre is going to take a hit. Just put a damage shield on this guy. And then restoration, detonation. There you go. It sucks that he lived with one HP to take away some of our score, but it's not like anybody cares too much about score in this game regardless, I think. Um... So this is one where I'd actually look at this and say if we could get three morsels in front of you, I wonder how that would affect our damage. It's a lot better. And then, I think you're, how much damage do you do? 13? So you're not living through three attacks yet. I might be able to gorge you twice, but getting the extra damage shield is nice too, but I think we're going to start by going for the gorge trigger here, and nothing else is really going down here, huh? In that case, I think we might as well put you up there, but these train stewards are not long for this world. We, we got to cut them from the deck pretty soon. 176. Never playing this guy is bad. Okay, well, there's, I think you 100% start with that. Then I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm a fool, dude. I have capacity. How about we just play him right now? And then this is just principle to keep me in the habit. All right, so the boss is eating it. You love to see it. Lots of money. I've never, it's not fair to say, Feast has not been great for me, I think, even though it is gold. Um, and I think especially because we have damage shields on all of our morsels, I just don't think we necessarily want it. Maybe if we were doing Umbra, we are doing Umbra as the top now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't I don't buy the Descent strat here, I don't think that's for me. I like having our floors kind of set. Um, and Trample has not been relevant either. Not on any of our units, maybe the... Maybe the champion. I, I think this is a skip, believe it or not. And I def I just like that full stop. And with capacity, it's well worth it. All right, this guy wants to join up. Spilled water trying to drink it. It's going to be one of those days. So our magic power gets a little better, which is nice. And then we get this guy in as a unit. Um, I would say... Removal appeals to me a lot here. These train stewards have got to go. So we draw our good units faster. And as far as spells go, you always love to see Holdover. Um, holdover Grovel is just disgusting. I don't think you need me to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Let's make adaptaste, ad Adaptive Mutation a little bit more playable. Um, 
I honestly kind of feel like you guys are doing fine. I think I might start purging here. And I, I think that our restores... I, I know we have more train stewards to dump, for the record, but... Uh, like, our restores are also pretty bad. We get one more? Oh, come on, dude. Okay. I think, I think we'll... Reroll, I guess, now that I think about it. A card getting permafrost? Sure. Um, I understand this, so let's let's do that. When a unit is near death, we can we can bring him back for one. I think that's a pretty, from my standards, that's a pretty inventive attempt we just took there. So non-boss enemy units get multi-strike. It is for an artifact. I regret it immediately. But only because I think that makes me look more relatable. Alright. We got damage shield. It's, it's what you like to see. So you guys are going to do... 20 damage. I think we do not mind that. Um, and then... Really... We do... I was going to say, we need one of you to die. But also... Oh, but then the buff on death is going to be real nasty. Anyway... Um, the point is, my man's is gonna gorge like a like a king on this turn. We're also gonna have so much energy. Okay, so we got ten energy. You're living. I think we need our sweep unit down here. I, I hope you live. <laughs> I don't. We have so much energy. Why wouldn't you play it? There you go. You got toasted. You guys are both getting toasted. Everybody's getting toasted. You're not getting toasted. That's incredible. Oh, never mind. You're getting toasted. You're getting toasted. Well worth it, in my opinion. Oh my god, but you're gonna get so tanky, dude. <laughs> I don't care. Because it's making our champion stronger, okay? Go ahead, hit my pyre. See if I care. Okay, so the Crucible Warden is our he's our big player up here. And he's dying. Um, and this isn't going to change that for you. However, okay. You, you do want Dante up here? We're feasting. He's going to do some damage. Now, I want you to eat a hit. Eat hit. There you go. So now you're taking damage, you're living. This is all its all gravy, it's all good right now. Um, can't really do much else on this floor. So our, our champion is getting disgusting, brother. Like, this guy is going to be out of control. You are going to live long enough to, to do some really bad stuff to our pyre. No! Are you kidding me, dude? I have to take the L on that one. It didn't even enter into my head that he, that a basic enemy could possibly do that much to us. Straight up, it didn't even enter into my brain. So that's a huge loss. Um, take, take me back to the main menu. Anytime a run's short like this, I feel bad about it. So, like, let's try a daily here, all right? The dailies have been really tough. We have not done very well. Units, friendly units enter with quick. You get shuffled, you draw less. Okay. Let's let's see if we could win a daily for the first time in my life. I'm not hopeful. Um, but let's try. Okay, so with quick units, we really would not mind multi-strike units that do a ton of damage. Let's let's play explosive. We got cards that can keep you alive. Sting does better. I could try to do a, a sting run. Spikes is fun as well, don't get me wrong. Alright. Non-boss enemy units or non-boss enemy units get plus four. It doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare me at all. Dunk 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 dunk. You're dying? That's incredible. 
To to what? To to what? Oh, to the fact that you had a regen trigger. Uh, okay, I forgot we had quick. Okay, there you go. Oh, but we can't play this. Uh, dummy. All right, whatever. You're taking heat. Train stewards exist just to die. World is a frick. Where the heck did Frozen Lance come from? Oh, they're, they're the allied clan. That actually makes perfect sense. Um, it is nice that we're quick instead of the enemy. I'll give you that one. Okay, finally. Oh, you love it. You're not dead? <laughs> oh, and you got shuffled, which is terrible news for me. Never mind, you're dead. Okay, so how does this look? I don't know, it turns out having quickness is a huge advantage. So Glimmer is really nice here because it hits, it's an AoE that also triggers uh, the Rejuvenate on our champion for sure. Um, when we're only drawing three cards, I think you can take Titan's Gratitude and just play it last. And uh, with quickness, what works better for you here? I think Sweep doing enough damage to kill support units before they can even do their support thing, it makes you the best unit. And I do think we want another unit ASAP. Um, you're already quick. That doesn't make you any worse, though. I think that you can you can totally function for us. We're looking for multi-strike. Upgrade a unit with quick. <laughs> there you go. Multi-strike is what you're looking for. Um, and... It's pretty tempting, um, for sure. Let's let's do that then, and then a little extra on you. Never hurt anybody. Okay. I feel a temptation to play fast on the dailies because I, I in like Spire that affects your score. I don't know if it matters here though. Definitely do not want spikes, and it's gonna. It takes a lot for me to think that one out. But our quick unit uh, that multi strikes dies so easily that it would just be. Uh, bad and dumb. Okay. You're gonna get shuffled, that's fine. We, we don't mind the shuffle. You can't fit down here, but you can definitely fit up there. That's good, that's good stuff. Dude, my whole muscle memory is off thanks to quickness. This will at least do 15 damage next turn. Because of the regen. And we already love the oh, but do we love this more? I I feel like not necessarily. This will definitely kill two units. Oh, but they're gonna die to sweep before they can do anything anyway. Alright, this is where things get interesting. We definitely want you to just body block a shot and now you're dead. Okay. Really glad I didn't put thorns on. And our score is looking pretty, pretty nice. We'll take every sting that comes to pass. Um, and I still think Titan's Gratitude is great. We really, I think we go draw from our, from our boss upgrade. Uh, I really want to upgrade a spell. Uh, without being able to do that, let's go Stygian Banner. Why not? It'll be very interesting. Admittedly, a floor of Animus of Speed is pretty interesting. But I'm like, I can't put anything in front of you, so you're not really going to be great against the boss, but might still get the job done. Okay. I think we definitely like to copy the sting uh, even though it hasn't been upgraded I think that that's a way forward for us for certain um, and we'll see I don't know I've uh, I haven't always made the best decisions in this game but I feel like it's always great to do 25 damage for zero and then have some draw attached to it on the next turn.
Uh... Uh... <laughs> Okay, hear me out. Why... Did we we should have cast it on you. Now that's just... That's Bush League. That's Bush League stuff. Okay, so now... Uh, you really lose the HP, huh? You don't, you, you don't even... Like, the HP is gone forever. We can't even get it back. Um, okay. Check this out. We don't even need to play this there, then. We can play it here. Which will also give us a draw. <laughs> she did not draw a sting, which is what we're looking for. Alright, this is, this is a weird one. Without a doubt. So we like this. You're gonna go soon. But I, I think you've accomplished your goal. I think you're doing very well for us down here. We're quick, so I think we... Yeah, we'll kill you and get some triggers going. Um, why not put another Animus down here? And why not put another Train Steward up here, I guess? Quickness is just such, like, an incredible advantage. So we just love this. And you're gonna go soon, but I think having you leave early doesn't bother me that much. It, making you endless would be pretty nice, though, I will admit. And this deck is kind of like doing what I wanted to do now. We couldn't put the train steward anywhere anyway. Okay. You're gonna hit him, that's fine. But for one spell, we could make you hit him much harder. So I think that's what you do. Uh, and then down here, we just love these, of course. You were probably dying anyway. But uh, I don't get paid to think. Well, it certainly seems like it's working out pretty well. You are only taking 50 damage, but I'm pretty sure that's because you're up front. So what are we gonna do about that? There's, like, nothing we can do, so I guess I'll just hit you for 60, and then you will live on this floor with 8. And be killed easily on our next floor. Alright, dude, that's, I mean, it's rolling. It's rolling. So I do think we want draw. I still think that's pretty good. I think we could use that, believe it or not. And give me draw here. I think we could use it. You put that in front of an animus, it's doing some great work. So we want to upgrade spells. Because a sting spell having hold over... All of a sudden becomes quite great. Uh, and then we... Sure, I mean, minus, minus one won't work on it, sorry. Plus one magic, plus ten magic power, I think, is what you'd be looking for. And then make a ice tornado cheaper or remove it from your deck because it's not doing anything for us right now. Then we'll probably just do one purge and, like, you have no reason to be here. Uh, and we'll just leave. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like there's definitely a Spikes build in here somewhere that does some incredible work. Some of these names, dude. <laughs> our Pyre can take it. For now, our Pyre can take it. Eventually, we may not feel the same way, but for now, the Pyre is alright. Alright. Hey, Doubleday died on Battle 5. We can do better than that. You give units haste. No spells! You hate to see it. Sensible. Sensible work. Self. We're just doing this to get him set up. Still, we have one spell, dude. 
you both dying is truly horrible for me. I didn't consider the effects of haste. Thankfully, we do have a second one of you in our deck. Um, but that's... That's dangerous. Um, so hear me out here. I think we'll do a restoration detonation. Because we draw. Surely you're still gonna die. But I gotta try. Yeah, in fact, it might have even just made it worse. Um... We'll die if we play that. We won't die on this, though. So I think that's the play. And then it stops the haste. Would you believe me here if I say it could be worse? So we love the incants here. I think we love this, too. Now you're dying to quickness, which we like to see. Um... You're dying anyway. Do we want to draw? <laughs> Why not, I guess? And then we get more draw next turn. We just don't want to draw on zero, because it's going to kill this unit too fast. Again, if we could make that unit endless that gives us the uh, the encant bonuses, I'd be over the freaking moon. Um, for certain. For now, though, I'm... I'm pretty happy with the way things are going here um, except for that awful mistake earlier but it seems like for now and I know we're setting ourselves up for some irony for now it doesn't seem like it's gonna come back and bite me in the butt and nobody's more surprised than me you love to see that you love to see that a brief respite where we look for more units really um so give me draw, please. Look, we still want to draw more next turn. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I think we want you to put up some blocks here. And, uh... Uh... <laughs> and then after that, I have no clue, so... We'll pass. Ah, right, good block. Good block. I appreciate it. Okay. So now we can't put the guard down there, which sucks. You have stealth. You have haste, of course. Of course. So you're taking 45 damage. Hold up. Hold the front door. You gotta take damage. You gotta take damage. Um, hear me out. I think you honestly play the animus at the front, so it gets moved to the back for your next battle. I don't even... Th that's not controversial, I'm sure, at all. I think we do get you out here. And then I think you're doing 13 damage. Nobody's living. Might as well just hit you once. This is pretty dangerous. But this is... Okay, you're already taking 300. Never mind. You're dead. It's not dangerous at all. All you gotta do is play those things, dude. I'm excited by this run. We're drawing real quick. Apply quick. That's a good one. Uh, I really think... I'm, I'm happy to see them all be gold, don't get me wrong. I think Frostbite's decent, but I don't think we need it as much on quick. Dazed 1, though, I think I could, I could totally see. Dazed 1, I could see. So we want Endless on units, or Holdover on spells. We have no unit upgrade. I think you definitely do just go spells, then. And the Train Stewards have no reason to be in the deck anymore. Okay, good, good cuts, good cuts. We do love that. <laughs> um, I don't think we should make it cheaper yet, though. I think we should re-roll first. And then give it holdover. Oh my god, what a dream. And then we'd actually love it if... Well, instead of making it consume, what if we just cut it out of the deck because it's not that good to begin with? And then also gave another one consume. And then also made Ice Tornado playable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Balls Deep has completed Battle 7. Give me... Consumable card. 
Give me an Awoken Consumable. Yeah, I like it a lot, actually. Does very well on our champion. It's kind of a weird Awoken build. We don't have any, like, well, we have one tank. But again, quickness totally changes the way the game is played. Non-boss enemy units get plus six. This time, let's not... This is where I lost on our previous run, so... Anything we can do to make it a little smoother. Well, we know we're gonna play you here. Um... Dunka, dunka, da dunka, dunk. I actually think we like you on the next floor. And you're gonna get... You're not gonna get two kills yet, but you're very close to getting two kills. I should have done this in a different order, but work with me. You do so much damage. It's so hard not to put you out there. Let's start with you here. Let, you didn't get a chance to do anything last time. Let's let's see how you do this time. You're a oh you're a huge healer. I understand now. Um, you're not doing anything. You guys are doing something. So let's let's be smart. Let's do this. And let's do this. You're not taking very much damage. We we have very little damage to do here. I think a sweep unit involved in this. It makes for one nasty floor. That's good damage. A train steward again. Really, I don't I don't even think there's a point to having them anymore. I think they do better not being played. This is kind of a simple one. Uh, if you want to play it like this, I should say. Because you could play it up here for some draw, but... You know, if we already have you... Why bother? Although, now I'm like... Now I get it. Hold on. So we're going to mill this unit out. Probably. Not quite out. Let's give you one more regen to keep it going. Just to get some more draw. I, I figured we needed some more setup, but maybe not. Okay, okay. So there's Sting. Yeah. Yeah. Getting so much armor. It's another incant. And then... Yeah. 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 That's great stuff. That's great stuff. Um, I could daze you for a turn. You do have... The, the real problem here is that you have stealth 8. So daze doesn't really... It saves us 12 damage. I think I would rather just do something like that. And really, if you're able to take off, I don't know, 350 HP from a Stealth 8 unit on turn 1, you gotta look at that as like an absolute win, dude. I mean, you're already dead, but this is fun. Uh, we got one space now. I mean, just let it happen. There you go. Alright. We've done it. I think you can probably get to the point where you have too many Sting cards, but... Seems okay for now. I will admit, Sap 3 is really good. But our, I feel like our deck's getting a little thick, and a thick deck is unfocused, and an unfocused deck is... It tends to be a little worse, so we are on the boss fight. We want to upgrade our unit to be endless, but it's a bit of a... Uh, uh, we're hoping. We're hoping this works. Multi-strike is still pretty good. <laughs> I think I could, I, I, I could sleep easily knowing that that's the case. Now, spikes I do not care about. Because uh, we can't guarantee that those units will even be at the front. So I think we'd rather save our money there. Units cost negative two. Or make units weak at the top. I um, feel like we have not had any problems summoning our units at all, so we might as well go Light's Gift. I don't think it's ever happened. I, I genuinely don't think we've ever had it happen. I'm not gonna say no to energy, because we're going like full draw strats on this run, apparently, but... Yo, Megabyte this, congratulations on your victory. So you're gonna kill something here. I think we set you up. I don't mind setting you up here. 
But I think you're going here just to buy us a little bit more time. We might as well get you started, I think. Buying more time to get another unit in front of them, I should say. Okay. Um, so I, I don't mind this. You come in here as like a tank. You get a little super heal. Um, I choose to allow my pyre to take a little heat. I don't really want to draw this much. <laughs> Maybe I do, because it is making this floor very easy. I think we'll leave it at that. Even We, we could have played to heal, but I don't really want this unit to run out yet. We don't need to draw as much. Ah, dude, that unit on the top floor with multi-strike is going to do amazing work thanks to the days. That's that's wonderful stuff. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think we accept our pyre is going to take some damage in order to get out the units we want to get out. So you're already going to torch, which is great news. Um, I choose to accept some pyre damage in order to get out in front of this. I'd rather just have you come out, honestly. Be ready. Obviously, we should have played you before we did 75 and in camp triggers, but... What's done is done in that department. So, really... I start to... hold dear the idea of just hitting you very hard. And letting the rest of our units do their uh, do their thing. Why not? We got a lot of sting coming in here. It's it's a, it's something you love to see, without a doubt. Handful, you're telling me. So our pyre is gonna take some damage again. That's okay. That's okay. We don't sweat that. We take those. I think we do want to get rid of this, though. Um, I'll just own up to it. I wasn't paying any attention to that floor at all. I think it will matter not. But in principle, that was really dumb. This guy, he's getting so armored up thanks to the encant triggers, dude. This is incredible. Okay, so we will. We might as well play you. You might as well get out here and do something. Let's get this out of here as well. So we're going to do, like, at least, I would say probably 200 damage per turn just in stings. So maybe 200 is a little rich, but it makes a lot of sense to me to just do this damage to the boss. I'm stunned how much damage our pyre is taking just from the pyre. Or just, just from the cards, I should say. So we like, yeah, yeah. And we're getting extra armor on our front dude every time here as well, which is super nice. I don't know how much that's going to change things for us, but we like it nonetheless. So you're only taking 25, but you're going nowhere. Let's be realistic. We can also stall you for a turn. That really only puts five extra damage on you. <laughs> it's not very much. Um, so let's just instead do this. I'm not legitimately not sweating this in the slightest. Like, are you seeing this? It's a mathematical impossibility that you live at this point. You're already dying right here. We might as well play this. But you are dead. And that was not really hard. This is a, this is a daily that certainly seems on the easy side. Enhance all spells in hand with magic power plus five. I Sadly, I don't think that does it for us because I don't think it's going to work on Sting. 
And I, I would now say that honestly, energy is a little bit more precious. We have had some situations we've been unable to cast. Uh, removal's always nice, but really just want endless. <laughs> I will say, you living twice as long is pretty sick. I kind of like it. I, it's, it's just weird enough to be kind of up my alley, I guess, and please get out of my deck. You, you have no purpose here anymore. We do have to be smarter, though. We, we played badly, like, full stop. We just did not play well. Um, and really, it turned out almost really badly because we lost one of the only units we need. We don't need many, but we like we need to keep things going here. I'm very glad with the approach that I took to this run, though. We took a lark on those sting spells, and it's it's working out just fine. We cannot turn on spikes because uh, our multi-strike units will burn themselves out. You're Ember Drain. You are Ember Drain. I can't kill you. I can kill you. Actually, I think we'll put you in front, so you're at the back next time. You love to see this. Alright, now you get up there. It's a much better start than usual. Now, we can't fit you. Which makes this a lot weirder. Um... This floor is going to kill a lot of stuff. That's not the way we should have done that. I think we're going to do it like this. I don't know, man. Maybe we'll just get you out in front so you can start to do some, some good stuff. It is really... I, it's hard to argue against getting the draw early, right? Because it gives you so much value. You're dying, which makes perfect sense for the record. I don't hold it against you. Now you're not dying, which continues to make perfect sense. Um, might as well encamp that up here. It's actually really nice. We Nobody's dying anymore. Great news. Um, this will kill you. You're not dying, though. We need to kill you so we don't all get ember drained. And it doesn't really matter where we play this. Okay, so we got a good setup here. And we're drawing our sting cards every turn, which is where we want to be. So you go, yeah, 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 for certain. You gotta go, though. You gotta go. You encant this up here. And you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're going now. So there's a bit of a waste up there, but we don't really need to play anything else. We might as well get a restore trigger, I guess. You can tell. I feel like I got something here. We'll encant the preserved thorns. You're not quite dead, and you have to die. We gotta find a. How much damage do I do? 60? I need 60 damage? Are you crazy? Now you're dead. Um, and we do want you to have that anyway. And then everything else, n none of it is necessary. I mean, this is a... Right now, it's a really a foolproof setup. So this is a weird one, but, like... We might as well encant on these ones. Just to get the draw. We, we want to play our stings every turn. Um, and this guy's getting a ton of armor out of this. I think we're drawing through our stings now. Yeah, so we should not do that. <laughs> Um, you might as well take regen to get more triggers on this. And, uh... And then we'll... Play this for holdover, and I don't mind having a lot of stings in the deck for next time. Uh... It's, it's very strange, I'll admit, but... So we'll just play our cards. That's always a good start. Makes one heck of a sound, you gotta admit. Okay, there's four more of these. This is 60 damage. So I think, weirdly... Would you rather draw a card... Or do 50 damage? Come on. 
<laughs> I had to think about it, but I don't think I should have had to think about it. Do you have trample? You do have trample. You're still Oh you got we got one more play on you up there. Okay, so we go. Yeah. 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 Use this. You like to see it? This could be closer than I'd like to admit. That first hit is a doozy. But we do still get to hit you once. We do 25. Well. That's free. You really only want to hit you with that. And then we're just going to get you as many spell, uh, as many armor triggers as possible. It's going to be close, but I think definitely between Sting and between our Pyre, like... it, You should just be dead right now, basically, but... There should definitely be no way you damage our Pyre enough to put us in danger. It's not the most pleasant run to listen to. I don't really think we need any of these. Although healing spells costing one less does let us cast more. But I'm not sure casting more is worth all that much right now. I will take this for sap three. I, I think it's really good. It will go spells if we can. Spell upgrades if we can. We can. Um, and I'd really like to make it cheaper. And I'd really like to make it too cheaper. More than I'd like to do anything else. Although... Holdover. <laughs> to cast a sap per turn is pretty amazing. But it's quite expensive as well. It's also an offering. I didn't I didn't think about that. We draw so much, I think we actually would prefer to just make it cheaper. <laughs> as as strange as it may sound. We might as well buy this. There's really, honestly, I think Glimmer's not doing anything for us. Let's get it out of our deck a little faster. Um, and this Frozen Lance can go. And I honestly think this Ice Tornado can go. And then if we're going to duplicate a card, I think we might rather have yet another sweet Animus of Speed. And we did go with our better one. I don't think we could have afforded it anyway. But it would have been nice. Okay, first spell every turn has consumed. It's not that bad. We don't mind losing our, our basic regens. Of which there are several. In fact, we don't mind losing a lot of this. So you're going to get two kills. That's beautiful. We do still like you at the bottom, I think. I think we gotta play you a little higher. Do we wanna consume it? Why bother? I know it does 60 damage, but I just think uh, we'd rather consume it later for value if possible. You're being killed, which is uh, amazing for us. And then this is now... I wish I... Oh, you know what? We, we made you larger, so we can't put anything else there. Um, that's okay. Because you're gonna go... You're doing 75. Hold on. You're doing eight. We got a, a weird capacity issue here. A genuinely, genuinely weird capacity issue. I hope that this setup is decent, but I'm a little concerned. Once we get our spells rolling, it shouldn't be so bad. So we l just love... Oh, it's consume. Good start. Okay. This is important. The problem is we have no capacity to play anybody else anywhere. That's And that's really, really bad. But if you die... I don't know, maybe there's a way we can get around this. Hold on, you need to take 58 damage. Alright, that, uh, that settles that, which is really nice. 
Um, it turned out just fine. You're in danger now. You're not going to be in danger for long. I think you'd, you'd love just getting this glimmer out of here. I lied to you, you're still in danger, okay? But that's going to change eventually. Probably. Um, you, d you always want to play this. The shard, I, I couldn't care less about. Not the building, it's an architectural marvel. I may be a streamer, that doesn't mean I'm a neophyte. When it comes to architectural issues. I love when you summon units up there. Please keep that uh, keep that up. Um, we'll hit you. And we'll hit you. And we'll hit you. And... I can heal you another way. Did I just consume? I probably just consumed a... But we're adding so many more sting spells. Consuming a sting is maybe actually not that bad for us. You're already dying, but... I'm, and I want to be clear, I'm not necessarily suggesting it's good, but like... I am suggesting it's not that bad. If you want to play this, play this. This gets consumed anyway. Let's put this on you then. It's gonna it's gonna help us out. I would like to do damage to the boss, but it is kind of a weird one. We, I don't mind that consume at all, because like doing damage to the boss is not as easy as I would like. Because our stings just I mean they don't do that much damage, quite frankly. But if we can punch through here, and now okay now we got a little boss hit. We love this for its holdover abilities. I'll take one fire damage, who cares? And then just give me 60 and then a regen trigger will hit you again as well. I think we got this one. It's not easy. It's actually pretty easy. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so our first spell gets discarded. We definitely do not care about getting rid of a sting. You probably don't want to get rid of your holdover sting, and I think I might have just done that, but... It's a relatively small problem in the whole scheme of things here. You guys are both dying. You guys are doing great. These don't get removed from our deck anyway. Here's the thing, I think we should just put some sap on you just in case. We can't even play this Animus anywhere. So yeah, why not discard our whole hand, which will also sap you. How about that? Look at the encant triggers we got too. And it's final wave, so we got some value out of sap. This is where things now get quite interesting. Um, this consumes anyway, so I do think you get it out there. And then you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up here. Get this going. Oh, baby. Little yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're taking two. I thought this is seven, two, two. I got very excited. Um, you do 18 damage. This will let me live f slightly longer. Um, but this does 60 damage. Seems much better. Hold on, though. Honestly, it's weird. I don't mind dazing you, but I think we're better off just doing this to get a draw. I think it w is not nearly as good. Never mind. Okay. So you're only taking 272. That's not a lot. This would be a great turn to get a, a sap. Um, and we did get the sap, thankfully. You're only taking 85, which again is not great. You don't have holdover, so hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This, this is how you start it here. I can't help but notice that all of our animuses are definitely going to move to the front, which is the worst thing you could ever ask for. Dude, I actually think we might lose. After all that. But I think there's a way out. You have to die and make room for our other animus, please.
we did not draw our other Animus. I think as a result, we just lose. Which makes sense. Our deck is pretty thick. But the fact that we're losing on this one, it, it hurts me a great deal. I'm not going to deny it. I really thought we had this locked up. To die on the final boss fight. It's it, I, I will never win a daily. Apparently, I will never win a daily in this game. But it was a fun video nonetheless. Where, where are we at here on the leaderboards? Worse than usual. <laughs> For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you watched all 1 hour and 10 minutes and 39 seconds, I'm going to assume you did, so please do click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time. See ya!